next up in the tutorial series, um, this is a portrait in uh, my book, Bluebell Woods, and I thought it would be the perfect setup for a very simple um, circular style glowy background. So um, I just want you to follow along with me, and I'm going to just go ahead and get started. Um, so I think actually um, for this this video, um, I will be I'm going to walk you through the first bit, and then the rest I think will be time lapse. I think that will be just fine. Um, So let's get started here. I think I'm going to go with a fairly nice, um, I wanted to kind of have a sad feel, so I'm going to go with like a blue, blue, gray sort of background. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to start off with PC906 Copenhagen Blue. This is one of my favorite blues. And um, actually what I'm going to do is just generally... What I want to do is have the, she's singing, so I want to have sort of like the circle of the glow sort of around her mouth. So I'm going to very gently sketch in, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And so then I'm going to follow this through so it would go around here, just sort of gives it an overall shape. So now I have sort of a, a general shape and if that bothers you and you need it to be perfect well we got kitty cat. If you need it to be perfect for some reason um, then you can go ahead and use a compass or a string and just go ahead and um, so now I'm going to go ahead and start by hiding that line with a more blurred circular shape. I'm holding up the camera because I've got a kitty cat here and she has a tendency to rub up against the camera when it is down. There we go. So I am using directional strokes in the same stroke in the same direction as that circle that I just laid down. And this will kind of help give it a feeling of like vibration. I want this for this page because, so I want the strokes to be shown because I really want this page to feel like she's singing. Okay, so we got a kitty tail in the way, but I think I can work around it. Oh, the things we do for our pets. Alright, cutie. You got, you squeaked by for right now. And now we have this area here. So again, just keep going in directional strokes the same direction as the circle and this doesn't have to be perfect it can be very loose And the purpose of this series is just to show you guys different approaches to simple backgrounds that you can create yourself. Um, and you can mix and match my effects. So you could use this circular type look for a spotlight or um, even like a moon type look. Um, so you can really um, take what I am showing you and go crazy with it. 
please, um, you know, take what I do and then make it your own and enjoy experimenting with different techniques. Um, I like using this directional stroke technique because um, sometimes instead of hiding the lines, it's nice to show them, kind of show how you constructed your, your drawing. Um, it doesn't work for everything, but for especially for like glows and for auditory type effects. This um, directional technique is very good. So I am spinning the page around to have the best angle for my strokes. This is really important. Um, you can force the page to stay straight if you want to, but I find this to actually be detrimental overall to the, the health and the well-being of your hand. So instead of forcing yourself to be stuck in one spot, rotate that page. Allow your hand to feel relaxed and natural. It will give you better strokes, less forced strokes, and overall you'll just be much more comfortable. Just tidying up the edge here. Okay, so you can see I'm just kind of now I'm drawing intentionally outside of that. And just sort of using my wrist and not my fingers even sometimes going as far as using my elbow if the space is big enough so instead of going like this I am going like this so you can see the difference I'm just trying to get like a swirly type look in anywhere where it's too harsh. I'm just sort of bringing it down a little bit. <clears throat> so now this is a tricky spot because I've got this thing in her hair. So I'm going to kind of skip that, do this part for now. Now come in and sort of just try to continue that direction. Don't worry about continuing individual strokes, but rather just the same direction. So that's a really fun way to start out a, oh, I missed this spot down here, so let's just do that really quick. So this is a really fun way to start out a circular glowy type or an auditory kind of sound vibration type background. But I'm going to take this a step further. Let's make sure everything kind of lines up. So, follow me on the next adventure. 
So follow me on the next advice, just another step for and um, really cool. uh, I'm going to now begin. Now that you've seen sort of how to um, do the same technique, the same sort of um, flow type stroke, is that same technique of the background. So I'm going to time lapse. That's just to save you some time to pause, slow down, needed in order to doing. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this, then don't like too. And uh, magical time coloring. Enjoy! Played a great for audio. And you can see it's just a circular, bushy mark I started on. Focus on adding color. I'm going to come. Uh, I'm, I'm going to come in with P1027. Here we go. P peacock blue. So I up that last bit. 25. That I into about three. So that just helps you up a little bit. Doesn't take you as long. The idea of what I'm doing. I've gone there. Now I'm gonna here. See, so you can see marks is actually a great. Let's just touch the boob area. The expressive marks is to feel to the. Pain. You don't have to do a realistic, very abstract like this, and still some with making. So. Now we're coming. The whole point of this layer is to add this new color. So 
dark strokes of that dark color. Okay. So you can see strokes really adds even to Okay, so now I'm so now here. And I'm gonna use this PC nine nineteen. I'm gonna start first. Oh yeah, it's I'm going the white. Just okay. it's a bright. So now I'm just layering it over here. Same thing. So you can see how variations of were really bring to life. So I think go for quite a dark one. I'm going to go for paint thrown blue. blue. Put just some streaky strokes. So this gets really fun. So now you just kind of continue. So now we're bringing and contrast. I like to going to bring that blue to this corner. Just darkening all dimension and color to all of with this 920 weight in Danthrop. Which this blue is. It's not a super saturated for. So now I color, I'm going to make the glowy inner circle. I think I'm going to. Let's see here. feeling that I want
So do go all the way around. And again I had book I'm really liking this new but now let's switch it and I'm muted turquoise 10 muted turquoise so now another around So I'm leaving some of the before. I'm I'm letting skipped a little bit. And the rest of this with this muted turquoise. Just getting real close. I think I'm actually gonna switch and she one jade and finish out the this up with this new color. A little bit, so let's change. Now just finish up with gray green. See, I layer very, and I'll layer and over again. It's hard because control of the exact being. It's really hard right now. I achieve the desired color, but if I go too hard, then back. This is the timid bullet, and I might. Just doing in a little so you can better some corrective and final touch up specials in the face. Just make them clean. What I would, I'm gonna further. So now I see 1080. I'm gonna take this color and it's so blend and burnish. Take her to white, but no. Curve this color but out. Not do that. Thing this color is it does drop helps me cover up some of them and at the same time it's much like a white a little bit more pigment it's to change the color blues to a much more blue this case is just fine mind that that seems to be happening
we have Angel's Color, one set song. Thing. But something to keep in mind. See here again, I'm just blur hard and trying to burn. I'm getting that spectacular beautiful color. And I do that over that color. Thing over here, we're seeing color. So the Sorry about that. I camera, so I had to. This where we left off with. And look, like it's pretty much wrap coming to a close. Background, any color you can add as many as you like. Like the sad song. So I think I'm just gonna add a bit of bright color to the very center here. Is there anything PC? Oh. PC tend to rewinkle. adds a little bit it's not super punchy they feel very gray is a quick e probably go on to refine several more hours but the basics or so I'll see um, but in any case quick and easy way make a really fun back um, especially a bit of peeing this with glowy background things like that I hope that you enjoyed you have a time coloring subscribe like and comment in bye
Okay, so next idea for how I st you can see how white spaces really go in and layers and make this really colorful or like as I plan to do. Either way, um, this round can be extremely, especially um, a um, auditory, you could change this to blast into a wormhole. So there's a lot of ways ground, make it your own. Really enjoy uh, circular spirally tints in your background so it's something to try.